Hey y'all and thanks for dropping by Design by Kathy. Today I want to do a project. Um, if you've done some pours before and have you ever noticed how cool your runoff looks after it flows off of your canvas. For example, let me, let me show you a couple of little things that I'm talking about. These are some pieces that flowed off of another project, another, another pour, and look at the detail in that. It's just so cool, so cool, so cool. Uh, I think some people, these I just peeled right off the plastic that, that, that they poured over on, just um, really super slick back, but just such, 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 such detail in the, the runoff. Some people are calling these skins. I don't think I finished my sentence there. Y'all know I'm terrible at that. This was another one from a different pour, different colors. Look at the little details. Okay, so today is an ex another experiment, and I'm going to attempt to create what uh, would normally be your overflow on the painting. So let's get right to it. I've got my my antique copper mixed here um, with Floetrol. I'm going to be pouring everything in this little cup. So this is just something I kind of made up. Uh, it's just an empty uh, paint bottle. I've used a, well I was going to try to just balance it with this uh, paper binder, but uh, it wouldn't stand up straight in the bottle, so I used some clay <laughs> that I had to hold it in there and then glued this little the binder to just a little piece of tile. So I'm going to start layering these colors in here. I was going to take the tops off. These are the pre-mixed Arteza pouring paints. I shook them very well. You want to shake, stir the ones you mix uh, with your Floetrol or your medium. Be sure to stir, stir, stir. Mix those very thoroughly. These are already pre-mixed, but I did want to put a good shake because you know they've been traveling to get here and. back with a little bit of the the antique copper this coral color is really pretty and it should give us a really nice contrast for the detail that we're looking for. see what we've got. Got almost one cup mixed here of paint total. So I'm going to take the antique copper and I want to just go around the edges. I want to have it almost the same, pretty much the same consistency though as when the paint starts flowing off. Uh, The thing is, if you let your your pour, your dirty pour, flow off the edges of what we're trying to achieve here, it'll take the pattern with it. And I don't want that. I want the pattern to stay.
I'm using uh, for this, I am using an um, 8 by uh, 8 by 10 canvas. And I'm just lightly, trying to lightly, lightly spread this with this little stir stick. So I'm going to take my little gizmo that I made up here. I'm not real concerned about the outer edges at this point because I can always touch up the outer edges if indeed this does not flow on over. But I want to be sure. Now just because I'm going, we're going for detail here, I'm going to use my little sink strainer and mount and sit it gently up on top and is centered there because it's going to come out these little edges here and then we're going to start our pour Got nice little detailing going. Again, the effect that we're trying to capture is the detail that you get from your runoff after you let your paint, uh, you do your pour and what runs off over the edges oftentimes just looks so incredible. I'll let it finish, let what's in there continue to drip on out. I'm going to try to very carefully move this, and then we want to carefully move this. I'm just lifting it up just ever so slightly to close in this last little gap here. Perfect. Just like that. And that, my friends, is where we're going to leave it. Have an incredible little detail. And over this, this uh, antique copper. I keep wanting to call it brush copper, but it's just antique copper. It's gorgeous. Get some close-ups in here and hope that you can see the little details that I'm seeing going on here. It's just gorgeous. So I want to thank you all for stopping in and I appreciate you subscribers 
your comments, your likes, your shares, and your thumbs up, of course. I uh, hope you'll all tune in next week. We're going to have a big giveaway coming up. So you don't want to miss that. It's a really, really cool giveaway, I think. I think you'll like it. So I want you to tune in the uh, next video. And we're going to be giving away something very, very cool. Uh, don't forget to check out the links below and the colors and the paints that I used also in the description. And I hope you all are having a wonderful new year. I'll see you next time.